Imagine there was another DLC for Breath of the Wild with completely new shrines, structures, animals, bosses and so much more. Today I will try to survive for 100 days in this new and dangerous world. For that I first need to search for new weapons and equipment. Even on the plateau there's already so much new. It's just going to be awesome, especially when I arrive at my first destination, a completely new village. But on the way there of course I had to complete the plateau with all its new challenges. Wait, I'm on the first tower and I already see... What is that? A fortress? There's usually nothing there. This is crazy. There's even more new stuff than I expected. But would you have expected that? The whole shrine is also new. Whoa! Okay, mainly there are just new trees everywhere. However, they could grow here. But it looks damn beautiful. You can't deny that. For a spirit orb. But not only the shrines offered new content, I also found outside. Are those rats? Ew! And even after the next completely revamped shrine, I couldn't stop being amazed. No way. Is that an anvil? You can craft things? What? With feather? Where do I get feathers from? Give me your feathers! Oh, thanks. Very nice. After exploring three more days of new shrines, blowing up the cobblins and collecting Pokemon... Huh? Wait, what did he say? It was finally time for the paraglider and the first steps in Hyrule. Ah, fresh air. So peaceful. I don't know what do you want from me. Who else wants to come now? Okay, as in every good Breath of the Wild playthrough, one thing cannot be missing. A lasagna, uh, horse, of course. With its new name, Rapidash. This made the way to the new target village Ordon considerably faster. Nevertheless, a detour to the next shrine could not be missed, where a new enemy waited me? Who are you? A new guardian? Can it even shoot? No, but it can jump. Oh shit, okay, yeah, that could become annoying. A visit to Zatori Mountain was also very important for the journey where I stocked up completely on hardy durians. The most overpowered fruit in the game. But what happened on day 8, nobody could have foreseen. We're really close to Arden. We're almost there, actually. No, 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 no. Oh my god. It was a nice time. For better or worse, I had to continue the rest of the way on foot. And just as I was about to activate the next tower, I noticed something in the distance. Yo, what the hell is this huge tower doing there? Suddenly, this monster emerges at the top of Fabra Peak. But I still have to become much stronger before I can find out what's inside. And the best place to get started was, of course, Ordon. I just can't wrap my head around the fact that there's a whole new village. It's just so crazy. I spent a whole day getting to know the villagers. Oh, a dog! Visiting all the sites and seeing things in the cemetery that we should all forget about now! But one resident stood out in particular. Richard? The real Richard? The main reason I even came here was him. Leader of a group of the best knights in the land, known as the Colossal Fighter Crew. Yeah, I don't know who came up with the name, but I want to join. So, can I join? We're only letting you in, if you can handle this. Huh? No, that's impossible. I couldn't believe what Richard was asking me, but I had no choice. Then I'll go get the strongest armor in the game, I guess. Because I would need it. My task takes me through the whole country for the greatest challenges in the game. The destruction of the Shadow Syndicate. Six enormously strong mutated bosses waiting for me in the ruins scattered across Hyrule. But one thing scares me the most. The hat behind the Shadow Syndicate. No one knows who he is or has even seen him. If I want to end this whole thing, I have to find him too. But I've already taken a good step in that direction because this is my completely new armor. Wow. So fresh. Swag. Unfortunately, that wouldn't be enough. So I spent the next few days getting perfectly equipped for the first challenges. Including a new horse. No, I don't want to talk about what happened to the old one. Some fairies, more slots from Hestu, and of course, spirit over spirit orbs. Now there's only one problem. Where do I find the syndicate? Luckily, Richard gave me the location of a secret operation center for the Colossal Fighter Crew. Yo, what is that? Bro. And every statue has the location of a syndicate bus? Seems like it. The first one is in the ruins of Scrock Lake. So I set out, perfectly equipped, directly to the northeast of the map. Only to find out, no, that's not Scrock Lake. Damn it, now I have to search the whole freaking map. It wasn't that bad though. Just one tower over in Tabanta, I found what I was looking for. Finally, there it is. That's where we need to go. Nothing looks the same in Scrock Lake anymore. Everywhere you look are new ruins. To be honest, I have no idea what to expect here. What kind of boss and if I can even beat him with my equipment. Oh god, a huge Octorok with ultra precise shots. And the best part, arrows and bows seem to have absolutely no effect on the boss. How? How am I supposed to hit him? Oh, this works now. Ironically, the shield was the only effective weapon against the Octorok, which was driven out of these ruins forever after just a few minutes. Soon. 
But didn't he drop anything? Really nothing. Well, at least one of the six is done. I didn't leave empty handed though, as I was able to pick up a diamond at the secret base. And of course, locate the next mutated boss. On a plateau overlooking the thunder plateau. That can only be this, does it? Without waiting long, I directly headed to the banter, as evil doesn't defeat itself. After a very dark shrine, I was already there. So, according to my calculations, you should be up there somewhere. Unfortunately, i chosen one of the toughest bosses already. The Talus Lord, a huge mutation of Igneo and Frost Talus with incredible power. What? But with my superior fighting skills, I was able to... I hid behind a rock and waited for him to fall. Hey, it worked. You would have died in two seconds, okay? Very important. Although the victory over the second boss seemed like a success, in reality, I was harshly brought back down to earth. I was way too weak for this opponent, and I had to face death several times. There were still four bosses left, and the identity of the head of the syndicate also remained hidden. This couldn't continue. Therefore, side quest time! Activate Kuruto Tower, loot secret cave, complete new shrine. Bro, this one has waterfalls. What? Complete another shrine. Complete another shrine. Complete another shrine. Complete another shrine. Complete. Yo, I am equipped now. Or so I thought. Because at the end of the day's hike to Hebra Peak, the mysterious tower that had caught my eye days before was waiting for me. Damn, it's so huge. It doesn't look small from below, of course. It's really big from below, too. But this big. Holy. The tower spans seven levels, each with its own challenge and each with a notebook documenting the dark history behind the building. Many years ago, the royal family sent a man here to monitor the tower in Hebra. He then met a witch here and somehow mutated and the witch left because she was responsible but not really. It's a long story. Anyway, he's now the next boss of the syndicate I have to defeat. Come down here, you clown. Hey! What kind of attack is this now? It's just raining fire, ice and electric. Will it stop already? How overpowered is this? Boxers is flying around, man. What the? It was a tough fight as I was continuously attacked by flying books, but not even they could stop me now. Finally, man. He was so annoying. Boss number three was crossed off the list and the view from the highest point in Hyrule was simply breathtaking. Wow, this is the highest point in the game. There's nowhere high to go. You can see everything. The castle, Death Mountain. Uh, what was that? What was? If you keep looking for me, you will regret it. What will I regret? Uh, you'll take a while, your subscribers. <gasps> No, not my subscribers. I couldn't lose you all. But the mission, saving Hyrule, it was important. That was clearly the leader of the Shadow Syndicate. I had to find him before he could take away all my subs. But how? I think only one person can help me now. Meadow, long time no see, my friend. The last time we got the Master Sword and... Wait, you have kids? Yeah, if I want them somewhere. Oh, sure. Okay, can you help me? Yeah, you have a good friend in Goron City. His name is Volcon. He help you find your friend. Ah, uh, he's not my friend, he's... Well, never mind. Thank you, brother. Bye. Okay, we have a destination. We have to go to Death Mountain. That's quite a long way. But luckily, the next bus is also on the way, so it's convenient. One shrine later, the Penazula was already visible. So far, everything looks pretty much the same as always. There's the Lionel, but he can't be the boss. Someone else must be hiding here. Oh, come on, yeah, you're not. No, no way. That's not a normal Yiga, is it? Oh, okay. The attack is much stronger than from normal Yiga. This has to be the boss. This Yiga can certainly be called the strongest in Hyrule. Koga looks old compared to him. The worst part is, he only needs to hit me once with his sword and it's game over. No. Oh my god, was that close? Oh, yes, come on. I almost got him. Bah, bah. Bah, that was really tough. And that's the fourth boss. The syndicate is slowly breaking apart. But the leader always worries me. I still don't know who he is. But that's exactly why I'm heading north now. Just as I was about to activate the Zora Tower, I noticed something in the swamps. Huh? Was that house always there? No. That's completely new, right? That's a whole farm or something here. Here in the swamp. Someone lives here even. Yo, he sells swords. I'll say one right away. Thank you. And on the long journey, I almost forgot something. I can still pick up the boss rewards for the witch and the Yiga. The witch not only gives you her mask, but also her wand, which can shoot fire, electro, 
and ice. Really powerful item. And the Yiga? Whoa, this is really strong. 52 damage. Sheesh. That's exactly what we needed. On the rest of my journey, there wasn't much new to see. The shrines were, as per usual, completely overhauled with their new own challenges. Other than that, I didn't find anything spectacular before Baronia. We're on city. All right, then I'll quickly buy the armor and the shop. And somewhere around here should be the Vulcan I'm supposed to find. Perfect. The armor should be enough. Hey, Robert, is that you? Me? No, no. Robert, my grandson, finally you visit Grandpa Vulcan. Oh, no, this is Vulcan. This won't work. I'll never find the leader of the Shadow Syndicate like this. The Shadow Syndicate, you say? Yeah. Go to the Sacred Springs. There you will find answers. The sa okay, okay, thank you, thank you. So the strange old Vulcan was good for something after all. Now, how could I quickly get to the Sacred Spring? Exactly. I'll grab the next Adongo and right there. Easy, easy. The Dongos are old enemies from the Zelda franchise. Now they have returned and you can actually ride them. So the way to the south was just to jump away. I really need never thought I'd ever ride at a dongo. And there they were. I waited in the water and this has to work now. This is my last chance. Show me. <laughs> it was quite clear. The spring showed me his whereabouts. Where else could it be? In the middle of the jungle. And as for his identity, yes, I have a very strong suspicion. But don't celebrate too early. First, I have to defeat two bosses and the sixth one is probably the strongest of them all. Number five was not located far from the central tower. In this inconspicuous hill, there's a completely new cave with a sad story. This little Goron lost his stuffed animal. Poor thing. Don't worry, I'll get it back for you. Apparently, the Gorons are searching for valuable ores in this cave. There's only one problem. Look at the map. There's a blue, yellow, green and red path. The stuffed animal is probably in the red path. Unfortunately, it's blocked by a collapsed rock. The only way to uncover it is to carry this barrel bomb all the way down the yellow path to the entrance of the red path. Boy, that is far. It was worth it though. There were treasures all over the walls, sapphires, topaz and emeralds are completely new and extremely valuable ore. Okay, I've dragged the barrel bomb all the way here If there's nothing important behind it now. Oh, okay, yes, that looks important. I was able to find this stuffed animal. Guarded by just a regular talus? I thought there was a mutated boss. Well, it turns out the actual boss wasn't in the cave, but on top of the hill and had nothing to do with the cave. Oh, here it is. But that didn't change the fact that the mother slime had no chance against me. No, seriously, I probably took one minute for this guy to be weak. I felt invincible. Nothing scared me anymore. However, I didn't know what to expect from the last henchman of the syndicate. I'm very confident that we'll have destroyed the syndicate soon, we just need to take down this one boss. Nonetheless, I'll quickly go to Farron again now. Yeah, there are still 15 hard endurance or something here. Can't get better than this. And also in Akala, I checked again if there were any special new weapons to buy at the lab. There weren't any. The last mutated boss is just a few steps away now. Somewhere here at the entrance of this gorge you must be. Oh my god, is that him? That must be him. The Luna Lionel. Nowhere else in the game will you see such a strong beast again. More life than any other Lionel, has a dangerous wind blade and can generate lightning just like that. The best part, two hits and I'm KO. Okay, okay, but I'm slowly learning his attack pattern. He attacks very differently than all the other Lionels. I've never seen anything like this. Oh, that was close. Holy, oh, all the weapons are, he's taking so much damage. Come on, just one quarter. This is so intense. Yeah, yes, yes. Yes. Done. All six bosses of the Shadow Syndicate have fallen, only the head of the group remains waiting for me in the jungle. Will I be able to stop him? I honestly have no idea what to expect. But first, I could still pick up the reward for defeating the Lunar Lionel. Yo, the Lunar Testament! Incredibly strong! What? With this weapon I can only win, right? I didn't waste any more time and travel directly to the Great Dragon's Mouth, deep in Farron. Well, he used some guards here, so I defeated all of them first and then... He personally entered the battlefield. Majora's Mask, the mastermind behind the Shadow Syndicate, has possessed a Boko. I knew it! Surrender before it's too late, you over me. I don't think that's going to happen because you are the... You're still Still alive. Do you really think I'll give you a commander of the syndicate? Yes, a syndicate that has been completely dismantled. No, you don't know what you're doing. And <laughs> you are the last one. The Shadow Syndicate is history. Majora's Mask has been defeated. That was extremely easy. But the kingdom is safe. You are the hero, Link. Link? Link? Oh, no, 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 no. 
Watch this video. Ora, I launch your sleep.